How do you check how heavy a whale is? You take him to the whale way station. Welcome to another monster update. Today's monster is the train eater. He's a spooky lad and he's finally in Gary's mod. And if you want to see more videos with new monsters like this, make sure you subscribe. It's free and I'm banana. And here he is. Um, he seems to be drooling a little bit. That's fine. Uh, most people do tend to do that when they see me. It's the banana effect. It's quite normal. There's a little dude in there. That's the, uh, I think that's the real monster. And then he turns trains into this. He's got um, a quick estimate would be 90 eyes? Because he's got the same on the other side. Does he have any on the top? No, he doesn't. He's eyeless on the top. You can ride him, which is nice. Oh, that's his butt. His butt will eat you. Now that's some serious cake. If it eats you, it's real cake. Um, If you just get inside him, you see all this fog? That's gonna kill you. That's, that's murder fog. I think it's kind of like stomach acid juices. Hey, <laughs> can you poke him in the eye? He doesn't like it. And as you can see, this one has 20,240 health. Now, they always start at 20,000. But because he's eaten me a few times, he gains whatever he eats. Which means if he ate the cat, he'd be 28,240 health. We'll see that soon. Not only that, but he'll gain some carts. He gets longer, like a snake. Remember the game Snake? All right, should we turn him on? Just let him have a little wander. Um, he, he does cause a, a couple of earthquakes. Um, he saw, It looks like he's farting a little bit. You eat that many people, you you're gonna get indigestion. He is fully aggressive, so let's turn him on. He'll do a little roar, then he'll... Mm, okay, uh, apparently there was three of me there. He killed me three times. I don't think any, any monster... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think any monster's ever killed me three times in one go. That's pretty impressive. Again? Ah, he's incredibly fast. I don't know if you noticed. Let's try and run away from him. Uh, can you can you dodge him? Dodge the snake. Uh, if you let him get close enough... Oh, not like that. That was not a good example. Ah, this time for sure. No, I'm going away from him. Ah, he's really quite hard to dodge, but there is a way. There is a way. You've got to bait him in. <laughs> it's called the bait and switch. Uh, oh, God. That's it. Okay. We dodged it and we just got yeeted. He's coming after us, though, and now we have the height advantage. <laughs> it fell off. I fell off. Okay, well, he's now 21,000 health, so he's, he's eating me a couple of times now. He does also have a range attack, but that only happens when he gains an extra cart or two. And you'll only gain a cart if uh -huh, if he gets up to 25,000 health, and then he'll gain another one at 30,000, and so on. So now we need to find out how strong this fella is against other monsters. Look at all that fog. Oh, let me in there one more time. Go on. Mm, murder me. Look at my health. I'm dying. And who better to test the train eater against than our dear friend, Gerald. Jerry, it's the last time, I promise. It'll never happen again. Let's turn him on. Will they fight? He seems to have locked in on Jerry. Jerry's taking about a thousand a munch. And Jerry, Jerry, you doing much? No, Jerry did. <laughs> Oh no. And as you can see, the train eater now has a lot more health. Maybe Jerry's big brother could do a better job. Uh, behind you? Oh God, he's inside. He's right in there. He's fighting the man in the belly. He's he's going straight for the source of the power. Ah, uh, once again, he's gained more health. How about the cat? Oh, the cat seen him. The cat doesn't like him. Oh, he's giving him. He's headbutting it. He's headbutting the actual head. Hey, that's kind of awesome. He's getting dribbled on and he's dead. Okay. Oh no, he isn't dead. I lied. He teleported. When the train does the roar, um, that's like a berserk mode, and it'll pick one target. And as you can see, the train now has over 25,000 health. So he did a big old blood splat, and there he goes. He's got another carriage. Now, this other carriage is pretty interesting because you can actually damage it. Ooh, look at those eyes. So although the main hitbox of the creature is actually here, you can still damage the back train, and it will affect the health of the front. So we'll throw a little grenade and watch the health of the one in the front. There we go. It didn't do much, but it did something. So let's spawn a little Gerald at the back and see which one he chooses is to fight. Is Jerry more of a booty man or a front man? Oh, it turned around. You don't, you don't get much say in this, Jerry. That little blood thing you just saw. Oh my god. That was his range attack. It does like 700 damage. <laughs> oh, he's going in the tunnel. He, he missed. He's not a very good train. Hang on, let's help him. Come on, little train. There you go. You can go in. Go on. Go on, little train. Go on. Choo-choo. Oh, he's, oh, he's coming back out. So like I said, once he gains a cart, he can also use his range attack. So, Jerry, are you gonna get ranged? There it is. It's a blood 
It's a blood blob. And it did, it did, like, did like 1,500 damage to Jerry. Uh, that's a lot of damage. He looks so spooky when he's in the tunnel. All right, now we need to feed him some more Jerry's so that he gets even stronger. And we'll see how many carts he gets. Is he gonna... Oh, there's another... Wait, he just munched like six at once. What happened? He gained two carts. Oh, he gained... He gained another cart from just 12 Jerry's. Now that's some fiber. More. More Jerry's. There is a limit to how many carts he can have. So we'll find... We'll soon find out how many. Oh, he gained another one. So as you can see, he definitely has an AoE attack. Um, and he'll focus on one initially. And then the munch should just sort of take them all out. And it seems like he's capped at six or five, technically, because this is him. And without even realizing, he now has 75,000 health. Holy moly. Now I'm going to freeze him and show you something interesting. We're going to spawn a Jerry. We're going to put him in there. And as you can see, look at his health. He's dying. He's in the stomach acid of the train. If you are aboard the train, you're... That'll happen to you. So for something as strong as Jerry, uh, it's going to take him a while to be digested. So if we turned them on, maybe he would escape. Yep, he's managed to get out, but then also um, <laughs> he's now dead. Now, of course, we can't have made a train eater without making it fight bridge worm or the highway worm. But first, I want to test him against my other creature, the hexapod giant. Who's the strongest? Um, he's just... <laughs> Oh my god, this is kind of epic. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of violent sounds. Um, who's winning? Oh, I think the train's winning. Although technically this is a little unfair because the train is <laughs> really long. Hey, his booty's in the air. And the hexapod giant is in his final phase, his flaming phase. He's getting his ankles munched. And he's dead, I think. Yep, the train did all right, but that's a beefy train. Let's try a regular old train. And here we go. Just a, a regular 20,000 health train. Oh, he's getting his balls thrown at him. He's dodging it like an absolute champ. And he's... The hexapod giant was whomping in, and he just munched 5,000 health off his ankles. I think he's still going to win this. He's insanely strong. Oh, he's doing little hops. He got little wormy hops. If you don't know much about the train eater, he's basically a train that if you get on, it starts to sort of digest you and, like, kill you in lots of horrible ways. So maybe don't go on trains just in case. And once again, the giant is, I think, one or two munches away from death. One more. Crunch. Delicious. So now the fight we've all been waiting for. The train eater with 20,000 health versus a bridge worm with only 2,500. Ah. Uh... I think the train eater should win this, but you never know. Place your bets. He's trying to get inside. He wants to ride the train. Oh, his munches are not doing a lot because the munch is based on um, percentage health, I think. <laughs> but his executes, his execute is pretty strong. We have a winner. And of course, we can't have the bridge worm without having the highway worm. 7,000 health. He's a little stronger, but I still don't really rate his chances. He does have leaps, though. The train does not have any leaps. Um, he seems to be munching on his butt. Oh, he's really in there. Oh, this is a bit weird. Uh, what's happening? Anyone know? Is this mating ritual time? Is this how it's done? Um, I can't really tell who's winning. It's hard to see the highway worm's hitbox, but I think he's losing. The train is trying to bite out a whole section of his belly, but will he be successful? The little dude keeps poking through. Who is that guy? Anyone know? What's his name? Is he the conductor? Maybe we get a better view from inside. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the acid. He's dripping all over him. He really likes this meal. I feel like he'd be a pretty good pet train, wouldn't he? Should we call him Thomas or Nomus? So as you can see from the health of the train eater, it goes down and then it goes back up again. And the reason that is, is because technically the worm is inside of him and anything that's inside him, he regens what damage he does to it. So the worm, by being inside, has made a mistake. You need to fight him from the outside. Well, <laughs> Now that is some chewing. And the worm is now at less than half health. And the train eater, he has taken some damage, but not that much. Five hours later. And there we go. He's dead. And the train eater, he regens so much in the end that he barely took any damage. Pretty impressive for a chunky boy. So now let's do what we usually do and break his bones. Oh, we can sink him in the ground a little bit. Oh, we've, we've messed up his mouth and his little dude. He's come out a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. More like a ground train. Train? A train that's de been derailed, perhaps? Oh, what happened to you? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like this one. You know, he's got an awful lot of bones, which makes me want to merge him with stuff. Let's merge him. And the first thing we'll try is with the hexapod giant. Will it do anything? What the devil just happened? 
It just moved him slightly higher in the air. Okay. And if we do it in reverse, it sort of puts him sideways with his little mouth all closed up. Oh no. And if we merge him with the cat, the cat becomes the conductor. Hey, kind of suits him. He looks pretty good in there. What if we also add Gerald and Barry and the mouse? <laughs> it's a cartoon train. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. What have we done? That's kind of gross. Now I'm going to beef him up again so he gets an extra car. Please enjoy your Jerry's. Oh, this is probably going to give him quite a few cards. My guess is three. Eat them. Eat them. Munch them. Oh, there we go. Two, three. That's three cards. And there's one Jerry left who's... <laughs> Oh my. I was right. Three cards. All right. I'm going to stand over here and turn him on so he attacks me. And we'll see if he uses his range attack on me. He missed. And the cooldown on that is eight seconds. And he'll probably be there on top of you before he needs to use it again. Come on. Hit me with it. Hit me with a range. Oh, there it is. I catch it. Hey, it didn't one shot me. Not bad. It must have only clipped me. Hello again. This time for sure. Oh, he missed again. Oh, his aim is not great. It's kind of easy to dodge his range attacks. It's just the rest of him that's the problem. Maybe if I stand still, it'll hit me eventually. Where is it going to come from? Oh, here he comes. Hello. Oh, he killed me before the range could even come. So I'm going to get him to his full capacity of five cards and make him fight some of the behemoths and see if he's strong enough. Oh, was he aiming for me? Is he stuck? Is he okay? What's wrong? Little train? The Jerry's have, Jer the Jerry's have seen their chance. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. He's stuck on something. And the Jer Wait, how are the Jerry's dying? Let's feed him. Let's feed a Jerry to him. Sorry, Jerry. You're coming with me. You all right in there, Jerry? I think he's fine. You know what? I'm going to do this for Jerry. Jerry deserves a victory. Oh, there's a few Jerry's in there now. Oh, he's, is he regening? He's regening so much because of the Jerry's that are in there. Let's rescue them. Oh, no. We put more Jerry's in there. There we go. Spread out, Jerry's. Use your brain, Jerry's. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He suddenly, oh, he suddenly turned on him. Wait. He was regening. He's dying again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, we set out with the goal to make him really strong. There's still one Jerry going at him. Oh, spoke too soon. No, there's some Jerry's left. Can they do it? I don't think so. And now the Jerry's are in him. Jerry, why? So we managed to get him nice and beefy. He's got 58,000 health and five extra cards. Now let's see how he fares against day 17. Oh, there's the range attack. Day 17's taken. He's taking like uh, four damage. Um, He's killed one of the little worms. So he's going to get extra health from killing all of the little monsters that day 17 spawns. However, he's not doing much damage to day 17. 17. He's really trying though, bless him. Is that dude control? Oh, he controls the jaws. Look at him. It's like, I'm gonna close these. He's not very good at closing them. He can't get them all the way. Oh, I'm inside again. Ugh. Oh gosh, it's quite the view in here, isn't it? So it seems like he's done about 5,000 damage to the train so far, and he's done only 75 damage to day 17. So he's no behemoth killer. He will kill pretty much all of the cartoon creatures though. So that's pretty impressive. Look at that weird little face. He's got like a little beak. <laughs> Look at him. Is he a duck? Also, he's wearing his belt wrong. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy these new creatures and you want to see more, please suggest them in the comments and subscribe. It's free. Oh, I'm bleeding. And I'm yellow.